Every Friday, we take your questions about pet health and check in with our pet expert. And today's question comes from David. He writes, my dog Scout has kennel, kennel cough diagnosed by his vet, although he has never been in a kennel. Can you kindly advise on his cough, which happens always after he drinks water? And here is a photo of Scout. Scout is very cute. His owner wants to know more about kennel cough. And for that, we, of course, turn to Dr. Jill Chase. Thanks for coming on. Sure. All right, kennel cough. Well, well first of all, tell us about your friend here. Uh, this is Mac. Mac's been on uh, one other time. He prefers not to be touched by anybody but his owners or me. He's shaking a bit. <laughs> yeah. Right? A little yeah. nervous. Yeah, although he's now feeling a little more comfortable. Um, so kennel cough is actually inflammation of the trachea and the bronchi. So it causes this non-productive kind of gagging cough. And in fact, one of the things that we think about when an owner calls me and says, you know, their dog is making this like very dramatic sounding cough is that in fact um, it's just irritation of this area and so every time that they cough they create more inflammation and it continues to lead to this cough so we treat it with sometimes cough suppressants or and or antibiotics it's actually caused by many viruses and um, and one bacteria Bordetella and so we can vaccinate for one of the viruses and then the Bordetella vaccine that we give so it's highly highly contagious and any dog who has it should be confined indoors until they have no cough for about 48 hours and um, normally they get through it without incident, but it can lead to pneumonia. It can last anywhere from two to six weeks. So they can have this cough lasting for two to six weeks, but as long as they're eating normally and acting fine, we don't get too worried. So with Scout, um, I can't really comment for sure whether this dog has kennel cough. The reason it's called kennel cough is like children who are in a preschool. If a dog is in a kennel, they're much more likely to pass it from dog to dog sure. to dog. Yeah, yeah, germs pass. Yes, exactly. Through kids and through pets. Yes. All right, thanks so much. And if you have a question about your pet's health and well being, we want to hear from you. Just email us at pets at kpix.com, and we'll have Dr. Jill give us answers every Friday right here at noon.